Hey everybody, we are now live from Tokyo and I'm going to be taking you shopping, virtual shopping. Um, we can't go outside, we're still in a state of emergency, which means that I'm limited with the kind of experiences that I can share with you. This one, anybody can do. So we're going to look at some of the places that I typically shop to get my clothes. Um, yeah, that is a rack of clothes behind me and uh, let's just get right into it. So, um, the first place we're going to be heading to in this virtual shopping experience here in Tokyo is Uniqlo. That's where I do a lot of shopping, so it's pretty easy to be going uh, to Uniqlo here. Uh-oh. So, Uniqlo. I set these all up, and it just disappeared on the screen. So, we've been having um, Mujirushi. Some some problems with setting up, so I apologize for the late start. All right, and I think we're we're good to go. So let's go into Uniqlo here. Uh, Uniqlo Japan is a lot different than Uniqlo America, and I think the sizes are different. Maybe even some of the fashions are different. Um, but as we cannot go to Uniqlo, a lot of the stores have gone completely online, which is kind of neat. But it also puts a lot of stress on the delivery people. Uh, they keep coming and ringing our bell. In fact, there's a there's a delivery that I'm expecting right now. I kind of have been doing what a lot of you might be doing with your um, time, going online and shopping a little bit more than uh, than you probably should. Uh, Uniqlo is some a place I've never done online shopping before, so it's going to be kind of a need to take a look and see what they actually got. In fact, I haven't been to Uniqlo in like four or five months, which is weird. It's very weird. So let's go into the um, uh, everyday page right here. You can see some of the fashion that they got here. This is interesting, actually. On the top of the page, what they're doing is featuring room wear, which I guess makes a lot of sense since a lot of people cannot go outside. People are just dressing up in comfortable things that they have, which is like pajamas. Can I still in her pajamas? And I was about uh, an hour ago. <laughs> Here they have uh, today's fashions room wear. Really comfortable stuff that you can wear inside of the house. Uh, here's some one piece. Let's go into the men's because I am looking for some socks. But that's kind of boring. So we'll take a look at some of the other things that they have on feature here. Men's outer outerwear, coats, jackets, not really interested in that, not really interested, t-shirts, let's see what they got, a lot of people been buying Uniqlo's t-shirts because they'll be selling um, some unique patterns to it that you can't find anywhere else except for, you know, in Japan, but they don't seem to have that on the online store, interesting, very interesting, so it's broken down here, if you, if you know katakana, Outer, tops, bottoms, uh, room, and home. Let's look at that. Room and home. All right. So they got some pajamas. I didn't know that they they made sheets. Huh. Can I? Do we need to, some sheets? No? Yeah, for the futon. Maybe. Comes in different colors. It's not the best shopping experience in the world. Uh, I would like to look at socks. Let's see what we have here. Here's some Parker stuff. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Lately, I haven't really been into Uniqlo because the designs and fashion are, are too, I don't know. It, it's just not my style. They used to make stuff that was like any guy could wear, but then they got too fashion-y, and I don't like to, to go there. So we're going to skip over to Mujirushi. This is a place that uh, I like to shop a little bit more. What do they got on sale? Hey, now. Uh, interesting. Interesting. Mujirushi sells food. Whoa. 
So I'm looking here at some of your comments. John, here's something for your next delivery order. <laughs> Brenda MC. Hi, John and Kanai. Nice to have you. Your video, going to watch it as I do 40 minutes on the treadmill. Oh, that's pretty cool. I wish I was taking you somewhere, not just on the internet, you know? I'm taking you on on Safari. <laughs> this is a different kind of Safari. Now, unique um, Mujirushi's food is pretty good. Kanai and I will, will buy some things when we go there, especially the, the cakes that they have in the little packages. Um, this is soup. Let's see here. What kind of a soup is this? This is a uh, curry soup. Interesting. 490 yen for that. Um, they also have... This one looks good. I like with the different colors in there. This is th a green. This looks like green curry. Green curry, 180 grams, which is about a cup. So it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but it it looks healthy. A little bit of oil in there. A green Thai curry. It looks like. Let's go back into. Oh, so curry is, has its own department. I'm getting hungry. Online shopping is addictive. It is. It really is. You can. Oh, 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 wow. This is kind of red. Let's take a look, quicker look into this, like a bigger look. This is a butter chicken curry. Oh, nice. All right. So I can see this. Look at that. You can order this all from Mujirushi. It comes in these packages. Oh, wow. It comes in these packages that you can just boil. Throw it in on a bowl of rice and voila, you have a pretty good meal. A lot of good curries. That's interesting that they, they have invested in their kitchen, in their foods. Uh, they're, they're not just clothing. They're, they're like a supermarket. Look at this thing. Teizukuri homemade curry chicken. Oh, wow. So we're going to go back over to Uniqlo. I'm just um, looking in on, on, on some of this food because it, it's uh, 3 o'clock and we're thinking about what to have for dinner. This looks wonderful. This is homemade spicy chicken curry. It comes in a pack. I believe you can get three or more. Sometimes they'll, they'll make it uh, 4 50 So one pack serves two to three people. I don't think that that's right but i think in each one of these plastic packs you get uh two or three bags that might be that that might be what they're talking about you need uh mujirushi also has clothing let's take a look at that let's take a look at that okay so all these sub menus inside the menu uh we'll just start here the thing with mujirushi is that it usually is too thin. It's not made well. Like they they don't last more than a like couple dozen washes. And for me, that's a a big no no because I'll wear the same clothes for like several years. I don't really care about fashion, in that sense. Yeah. Let's see here. You might get a very small sock. <laughs> about some Christian it's very possible it's very possible um, let's see here sale that's always a good sign this is says it's organic linen this lady's white shirt is an organic linen uh, I'm not really into ladies fashion but this looks like something can I would wear for sure um, really Where's the men's sale? This is uh, the Ninki ranking, meaning the most popular from left to right. Uh, so this is the most popular. What do you What do you ladies think? Is this something that you would be interested in buying? You can also change the color. Oh, this is interesting. Maybe that. Maybe I'll get something for Kanai. This is three thousand nine hundred and ninety yen. Delivered for free. Oh, it's not available in that color. In this uh, gold color, they only have a few left. But the pictures don't. 
the online shopping experience is slow. It's slow because the internet in Japan is just ridiculously slow. Actually, over the last... Um, oh, looks like my screen is... My screen has uh, frozen. Let's see if I can get that back. Over the last couple of weeks, as we've been getting further and further into this stay at home, we have had discovered that the download speed is less than a megabyte per second, which is like very bad. But the upload speed for me to get videos out to you is like something that would be good enough for 4K, which is incredible. Everyone is downloading. Nobody is uploading. So uh, the app is not working ideally. This has been one of these live streams where everything just falls apart. <laughs> one of these that I will not be saving. Uh, come on now. It's not going to cooperate. All right, I just got to go with the built-in the built-in camera. How do we go here? This is what I was doing before. It's painful. It's very painful to go shopping uh, when the connection's not working. This is just a bad idea. <laughs> like, just like a bad idea. Uh, well, we'll give it a try a little bit longer. Let's see. Yeah, the people aren't... I think you can see me now. Let's go back to Uniqlo. Maybe this website's... Maybe it's the website. I'm not really sure. Um, but a lot of people have been buying room wear. They did not have comfortable enough pajamas. So I know that this is probably a good idea to get some things to just walk around the, in the room. Inner wear. Airism. This is my favorite of all the Uniqlo inventions. Airism. It's a, I guess you could say like, it's made, it's not silk. I guess it's like a nylon. It's really, really soft and um, it does very well in summer. Do you see this? It's so thin. It's so light. Don't allow. Um, and it's so not available in a lot of sizes. This is only an extra small and 4XL. Uh... Wow. But you can see these are just super popular. And since everybody is shopping at home, it's really funny that they're sort of out of stuff. How can that be? Out. Sold out. Wow. Shocking. Let's go into the bottoms. Uh, half pants. Shorts. Now, in Tokyo, people don't typically buy a lot of shorts. Uh, they will wear like this. And I never understood this. Um, these floods. I'm not into the flood style. Let's, let's see this guy. But if you cover the knees, it's more acceptable into the uh, city. So wearing shorts around the city, you can wear whatever you want. But in the city of Tokyo, you don't see a lot of people wearing shorts. I don't know why. It's a, maybe it's just a Japanese thing. Um, I typically don't care. So I will wear them anyways because it's hot. Um, but it looks like you're on vacation. And in the city, especially the city center people are at work. They do something called cool biz, um, which is not... Um, cool enough for me. I want t-shirt and shorts. Total t-shirt and shorts. This is where I got the thumbnail from. It's a chirashi. Chirashi is, uh, will show you. It's, it's basically the flyer that they put into your mailbox. They don't really give that out anymore. What they do is you can get them online. Let's see if I can find that. Uh, you don't want to shop with me. It's awful. It's a terrible experience. After 30 minutes, I get completely bored, and um, I go and sit in those chairs that they have. Uh, you know, they're all the chairs. There's guys fi usually fighting it out for it, and if a guy is, another guy is just sitting in there, I will go out into the mall if they have them and, and go sit on the chairs out there and to just look at my smartphone or bring a book or something. Um, 
Let's see here. Okay, innerwares. Uh, no, I want to go. F I was looking for socks. Socks must be in the other department. Bottoms, room, inner. It's got to be inner. Oh, there we go. Socks. Uniqlo is the place of socks, and they have 50 colors of socks. Uh, I like these right here, these shorty socks. Okay, it's interesting. I need this color. Everything is interesting to me. Oh, look at these orange. I got to get these. I got to get these. Only online do they have them in 29, uh, 27 to 29 centimeters. You know what that means? That means that they don't rip <laughs> when I try to put them in here. If you buy them at uh, Uniqlo, you only get them 25 to 27, which is like uh, American shoe size 7 to 9. And then 9 to 11 is, no, hold on a second. It's like 6 to 8. And then 8.5 to 10.5 or 11 is 27 to 29. And I can only get these socks online. But the fact that they, oh, they don't have the green ones. No, they only have orange. What's up with that? That's awful. Everything is sold out. This is crazy. Everything is sold out. I've never seen this. Oh, look at these. Oh, look at these. They're sold out too. Do you see these? These are famous because uh, in Japan, we have these socks. They're like tabby socks, but these socks go for every single one of your toes. And it's something, I, I don't see these in other countries, just in Japan. And they knit these out so um, uh, each toe is independent and has their own freedom. The problem with this is that if you are trying to get your toes into the socks, it takes like a minute longer. But, and it can be, it seems a little annoying. My socks like to be together inside the socks, but you'll see these, um, in Japan, a lot of shops will be selling these as well uh, at the airport because this is such a popular gift item to take back to the United States or wherever you're going. Going, These tabby socks. Uniqlo has them. How much were they? How much were they? Oh, 390 yen. So that's about $3.50. $3.50. Um, the reviews are pretty good. I don't think that they delete the reviews if they're bad. That would be bad. Um, I don't know. What else am I in the market for? Pretty much just socks. The Chirashi is not too interesting. All right, so I'm going back to Mujirushi. Let's get into the clothing here. It's time for the men's goods. Where is the men's stuff? Come on now. Kids. Pets. Pets. Really? Is it pets clothing? I'm telling you. I'm good. This is how I shop. Literally. I go back and forth between each website. I'm looking I, I click the pet stuff. It's taken forever. Interior. We have a lot of stuff from inside the apartment from Mujirushi. Towels, pillowcases. I can't seem to get this website to work. All right, here we go. We're back on the top page. All right, let's get into the men's stuff. Clothing is not something, I don't know. As I said, Mujirushi is not the best for clothing. Um, but they do have some interesting stuff every now and then. It's just that they like this natural looking wrinkle thing because the material, I don't know, like if you, if you can't make good, like really thin stuff, it gets wrinkled. But they want to... I guess they want to be organic with this. I'm I'm trying to find in here. Where is the This is for the house for camp for men. I do like the camping stuff. All right, let's take a look. All right, they're doing stuff with camping. Hair care. Do they have that? Really? Mujirushi might have hair care. That's crazy. It's just taking a really long time to lo for everything to load up. Uh, online shopping 
is better on the iPhone, I think. I think it is. Kanai, where do you shop online? Where do you shop? Online? Yeah. Amazon? Yeah, I'm not very. <laughs> really? <laughs> I just All right. Oh, really? All right, I'm going to do that. All right, I'm just going to go to Amazon. Amazon Japan. That's this might be easier. The thing with some of the um the thing with some of the websites, it's just too complicated. They they hold on, I is it working yet? The other screen capture. The e epoch no it's not working all right this camera's okay here we go all right good we're back that's good this camera is so much better there we go hold on just change it back to the epoch okay this is so much better the um amazon is pretty easy for shopping because you can search what you want and it'll make suggestions for you um, Uniqlo and Mujirushi and Japanese websites in general uh, it is painful because they like all of do you, I don't know some of you remember from the 1990s like Yahoo would put everything on one page and it was just a headache you had to sit there and search all of the little um, words and texts like a like a word cloud in order to find what you wanted it was annoying Japan loves that they've been embracing that in fact if we go to Yahoo Japan, let me just do this to you, do it for you. Yahoo, which is still big in Japan. Yahoo gets a lot of searches. I want to show you just how annoying Yahoo Japan is. Look at the way that the website is set up. It has not changed since like the 1990s. It is, well, yeah, it has a little bit, but not a lot. They put everything in really small icons on the screen where it's all laid out like a mess. You can't find anything, and people love that. It's it's the browsing, right? Whereas if you go into Google, google.co.jp, you'll find it's this. It's perfect. And Yahoo is such a disaster. But people love it here. I don't know. Um, yeah. So when you go into Japanese websites for shopping, like Uniqlo, they still like that chaotic uh, format that pattern it just drives me crazy as an online shopper I like shopping on my iPhone because that the screen real estate is different the setup is different but if you shop on your computer it's painful it's just too much stuff in an overload for my simple mind um, let's go in here to men's men's clothing now Amazon COJP they have English, so you can shop in English. The, the problem is that that English is usually translated English. Um, it's basically like gibberish. I, it's funny. Some Sometimes of the auto translations don't make sense, but that makes me want to buy it more when it's so freaky. Uh, let me go into the into the screen capture. Sorry. I think you were looking at me while I was, I was showing... Um, <laughs> when I was showing it. All right, this is... This is Yahoo Japan. Sorry, everybody. Yahoo Japan is a disaster. Okay, we can't see. All right, gotcha. We can't see the screen. Sorry about that. Can can you see it now? I think you can. The screen here is, it's like so much stuff crammed into one screen. Ronzi rhymes, writes in here, next beer is on me. Thank you. I could use that right now, actually. <laughs> yeah, this is Yahoo Japan. It's a disaster. If you go to Google, looks like this. That's it. I'm feeling lucky. Boom. And then it gets into more stuff. But the Yahoo is so painful. That's the experience you get when you search on Japanese websites for shopping. It's all over the place. And uh, Yahoo ha still has that 1990s look to it. Yeah. All right, let's go into Amazon. I typed in men's clothing. And we're, I'm just checking out to see what is trending right now in Japan for men's clothing. Amazon is a little bit better than going to the shops directly because you have a lot of sellers in one place. 
Um, let's see what people like here. Um, I only want stuff that's prime because if it's sold from another country, it comes in through the marketplace and that rarely, uh, rarely makes it to me. Uh, probably because it, 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 things are just not being sent very well from overseas and vice versa uh, from overseas to overseas. These cargo pants look good. Are cargo pants still in style? For me, they are. These look pretty good. They never look as good as the the pictures, right? These are nice and baggy. I like that. You can wear fast, stylish shoes with that. Actually, these are used wash and cotton twill. Why would I want my pants used? I don't want them used. I want them new. Okay, pass on that. I'm going to have to pass. Um, sportswear, socks, cargo pants. Why is it recommending cargo pants? Do guys like This is what guys look for. Because it's suggesting to me what the most suggested stuffs are people look for in Japan. Because I'm not logged in. So it goes by default. It goes by default. What is this? That's a creepy looking suit. Because there's nobody in it. Kanai's making rice. Oh, look at that little pocket. Think about all the stuff you can put in there. It's interesting to me. It's very interesting. All right, I'm going to get very specific now. This is all over the place. I'm now searching for um, socks. Let's see. I do need socks. So these are the best socks in Japan. I'm digging these. <laughs> these are the characters. Ah, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Let's see here, Japanese socks. What do we get turning up here? These are really interesting. What? I like these. Can men wear this? These are the Japanese style cherry blossom socks. Tis the season. Now, the thing is, you know, in Japan, a lot of people can't, they, they don't want to stick out, all right? They don't want to stick out. So what they do is they, they wear unique footwear, meaning they'll wear shoes that are more, a little bit more colorful. And for the select few that like to protest, they wear funky socks. And this and funky, not meaning funky dirty, but funky uh, design. And these are pretty nice. I like what I'm seeing. Um, these are very militaristic because this flag was banned in after World War II. So it's not it's one that you would see um, often. I guess it would, it would be hard to get them to line up. You have to actually think about this. This is funny, though. <laughs> it's like the Japan, the Japan uh, rising sun on the on the design there. That is pretty unique. There's some uh, shark. What? I guess these are for surfers. You get all the designs here. But the Japan ones are pretty good. Let's go back. I like that. Oh, these go higher. I love anime. Tell them you love her with socks, with sushi socks. I don't know. <laughs> what do you think about these? Oh, my word. They have the fish scale pattern. Do you see that? The green back there? That's a fish scale pattern. And then you have the flag and the rice and the sumo wrestler and a cloud and sushi. Onigiri, fan, senso. Interesting. Uh, not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. These are not. Oh, that's how they wear. Like this. I don't know. What does that say for women if you walk around with these? Would you just walk around town with? The... I don't think so. She kind of would not like that. I don't think she would like these either. I don't. I don't think these. No. This looks like a Van Gogh painting on your legs. This is bizarre.
yeah, this is the, the way. I don't know. That's not me either. That's not me. <laughs> uh, I, I have actually bought uh, gifts. Let's see what they got, actually. If you cannot make it to... Ew, interesting, Amazon. I'm, I might just make an Amazon-only shopping live stream. Socks for Kanai Ramsey Silent. <laughs> you really? I okay. I, I I will buy something, but I can, I have to do it off the stream because I'm not gonna put my credit card number onto the onto the internet. I've done that once, did not go well, and Kanazawa had to cancel that card like right away. These thermoses are very popular. Um, they this is by the thermos brand, but these um steel made from um uh. Places in Niigata. What's a what's a town called? I can't remember now. Tsubame, Sanjo Tsubame. They make a lot of steel goods, and so you'll find frying pans. Japanese frying pans make really good gifts. Japanese pans. Let's see. No, not pens. Pans. <laughs> they got pens. Pens. I, I gotta write it in 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 Japanese then. So I'm gonna put in here, uh, wafu. Is wafu means Japanese style. Wafu nabe. Let's see what we get. Yeah, Japanese style pots and pans. Um, you get them made in Niigata, and they're made so well. These are that's old school. This looks like something you can cook rice in for soup. That's a that's a pretty old looking nabe. If you just write in wafu, let's see what you get. Japanese style. Oh. That is pretty cool. Lights is something that you really get the Japanese style from. The way that they make these things. I wonder if you can buy kimono on Amazon. I guess you can. What? Oh. Okay. Out. Get out. Go back. Hey! I push back. Come on. No. Don't zoom. What? Oh. You didn't see that. It's family friendly. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just for fun. It's like it knows who who's searching. Um, this would be pretty good for a background if you're a, a YouTube, uh, a Japan-based live streamer. You probably get something like, oh, I like this with the dark. I like these. Interesting. This one, this one has a more of a natural color to it. That's $140 for that. So Wafu brings in some interesting interesting stuff. Look at these pants. I could I could see myself wearing these around the house. What do you think? These look like what the construction workers wear. They wear these baggy pants. Oh, they have them for ladies too. Uh because it keeps you um it keeps you cooler in the summer, I believe. I believe. Oh, this is like um, the Keanu Reeves outfit, right? I like this. Go around like Matrix. Nobody wears that. In reality, nobody's wearing this kind of stuff, right? Oh, has my screen cap... Oh, my screen... I don't know why it keeps doing this. I'm uh, frozen in the window. Yeah, I'm frozen in the window. So I gotta go with the FaceTime again. Sorry about that, everybody. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, so we're just shopping. Just trying to spend a day together. Let's see. Let's see what else we got here. That's still not okay. Good screen capture. Get back into the shopping. All right, it seems like Matrix fashion is a thing. By the way, if you don't know, they're making the Matrix Four. That's kind of a cool thing. 
to think that Keanu Reeves and the cast are going to be back again. Morpheus is going to be back again. That's pretty cool. Men can wear these long sweaters. And I like these. I like these. These, these say, hey, I'm not afraid to wear long stuff. It's very Japanese uh, uh, patterns to it. Very Japanese colors. Japanese colors are more subdued. Like, they're not bright. You'll have, like, a very earthy color. Earthy gray, green. Um, trying to get back into... Get back into the uh, Wafu. It's just got to go like that. I don't know. Do you think Kanai would wear this? No, I don't think. She... What these pictures have this girl posing? Hey, is that the the thing we were just looking at before the the folding uh, soji paper door looking thing? Look at that. Is it just for cosplay, or people actually walk around town with that? It says cosplay, right there. Okay. Matrix. These lights are also very cool. Um, Japanese LED lights that you can get into your apartment. These are things that you can buy them in the United States and other places, but they're just so much cheaper here. And the variety is, is a lot better. Um, I was thinking of getting one of these for the apartment, but I don't know. I don't know. There's a video. Oh, somebody, somebody made a video. It's uh. I guess it comes with a remote control. Interesting. Very interesting. So just searching Wafu will give you a lot of stuff here. Let's put in here if we put in Omi Yage. Sorry, this is Om Rice. Omiyage. Omiyage means gift. Gift. All right, so <laughs> this is the stuff that people buy. People buy this all in here. Edamame. Look at this. Wagashi. This looks good. This is about twenty-one dollars. This is kind of uh kind of expensive. Let me get the the headphones. There we go. It's kind of expensive. Twenty-one dollars for this. And it says it's made in Kyoto, but the thing is you never really know. Oh, there I am. You never really know. These, these Benny, Benny Emo purple potatoes come from, uh, this is a, a Benny Emo tarto, tart. And these potatoes actually are this color of purple. And you mix them up. They typically will come from Okinawa or Kagoshima down in the very west, southwest of Japan. They're very good. It's naturally sweet. Naturally sweet potatoes. These are very nice here. This this is a matcha. Um, hold on a second here. Is sometimes it's not what I think it is. <laughs> it's, just, it's not what I think it is. This is kind of a is this a mochi, uh, green tea mochi from Kyoto. You could actually do all of your gift shopping on Amazon and have it sent to your hotel, and not have to worry about it. Just actually spend your time. Not shopping, but going to see stuff. And a lot of these places will say, oh, I sent this to uh, Daimyo Supporters, something like this. This is from Yamagata. This one has the Yamagata cherries, but this is jelly. I sent it last year from Kochi. Uh, no, sorry, from Sarugashima, from Niigata. Some nashi-flavored um, jelly, and this is really good. The, this is packaged in waterproof little packs that you get with the, with the cherries actually inside of them. Yeah, those were in oh, two otaku. That's right. These were in the daimyo package, but a different flavor, made by the same makers. This was as well. This this was about two years ago. This is um. Uh, these like waffle cookies. 
These are so good. I sent these uh, with cherry blossom flavor inside of them about a year and a half ago. No, no, no. Was it last last year's cherry blossoms? I sent these to our supporters, and that was really uh, – they were pretty good. They are pretty good. I, I don't send these uh, shrimp ones because it's just too um, – too seafood smelling so people don't like that you open that your whole house smells like shrimp for the next um like week it's not wonderful what are these tobidashi be careful of the deer butter cookie <laughs> what what oh look they got the little sign on there i do like these signs it's a beautiful picture of a deer to tell them that they can just jump out at any time what it says is, is Toby Dashi Chewy. Be careful of the of the um, uh, jumping deer, and they've made cookies out of that for Japan. And I guess you see this only up in Hokkaido. Hokkaido. You don't see this in Tokyo, so that makes a pretty unique gift. Anything once, just try anything once. The original chocolate. Oh, this comes from that um, uh, monster cookie place down in Harajuku, I think. Cookie time. I've seen that. Um, I've seen them uh, all over the Harajuku area. Kids love the cookies. Love the cookies. Matcha desserts are something that you're going to see a lot of on uh, Amazon. Especially, oh, 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 oh. Just browsing, you're going to find all sorts of food. This is um, freeze dried strawberries. Freeze dried strawberries with matcha chocolate around them and they say they're come from, coming from uh, Kobe. Oh wow. Here's another variety. These look good. They're about $10 for not a very big portion of them. That's another thing. You have to check not just the price but how big is the portions. And Royce is Royce. Let's check them. They're the ones they make amazing chocolate stuff like these and they're seven dollars and fifty cents here in japan if you have never tried these you have to you have to it is the most delicious um it's salty crispy chocolate everything that you just love in a snack how do we get from food to food to uh, clothing to food because the clothing was pretty boring actually i just i can get behind food oh here's the royce ones okay I think this is Royce, isn't it? Oh no, this is the um, um, the Marose Marose Butter Company. They also make the the white chocolate freeze dried um, strawberries. They're so good. Japan is the land of of freeze dried everything. You can get it. You can freeze dry just about anything. The reviews are pretty good on this. I don't blame them. They, they come in different flavors though. It's not just um, milk chocolate. Oh, no. They come in caramel. They come in white chocolate. And they come in... Um, oh, there's another one. Dark chocolate, right. Dark chocolate. So good. I, this is like torture, really. This is torture. This is torture. Looking at all this stuff. Oh, my... This is the ranking for Amazon in Japan. I just found this. I, I just found this. Look at this. Oh, wow. It's like water. Water is number one. People are can't go to the supermarket, so they're ordering bottled water. This is the top stuff. The top 10 is bottled water. It looks like most of the top 10 are bottled water. There's more bottled water and then cases of beer. Cases of beer. Amazon does actually ship alcohol in Japan. And if you need a case of beer, no problem. We, Japan's got that covered. You'll be able to have that shipped to you in, in 24 hours or less. And you can see in the middle of your screen, the lineup is pretty incredible. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. All sorts of stuff, including the purple Ebis, which is pretty, it's pretty, it's a pretty good... Evis. It just tastes a little bit more like um, stronger. A little bit stronger. This is a premium ale for Ebis. $80 for 24 cans of 500 milliliters. Seems a little bit pricey. But it delivers it. They deliver it to your door. 
Budweiser in in Japan, for those of you that are interested, um, it doesn't taste the same as in the United States. It does not taste the same. It's completely different. It tastes more like um, like a watered down version of Asahi, which probably is Budweiser, but has more uh, more of a stronger taste um, than Budweiser. All right, let's go into the time sale. So we saw, that was interesting. The top ten items are water, bottled water. The time sales, um, eh, you know, I don't see anything. These are usually clearance items. A lot of wireless Bluetooth headphones, um, chopsticks, drills, people making things at home, um, knives, not sure. <laughs> Which, I guess you can, you know, cut stuff up in your apartment. Meat, maybe. Um, headphones with microphones. That's interesting. You know, you can see the trends because based on the time that we live in, that's what they're selling for. Um, the, the one item that I wanted to get was called a cam link. The cam link is, is sold out worldwide. This allows you to, to live stream with your camera. Um in 4k and it's it's back ordered and we don't know when it's coming 150 dollars for it that's yeah, a shame all right let's look at uh let's look at some some stuff here mostly cookies when we go to omiyage these are incredible and i sent this two and a half years ago to our daimyo supporters this is cherry blossom jelly and what makes this unique is that they put inside the jelly a cherry blossom do you see that you can actually taste it and the taste of a cherry blossom is it's got a floral taste to it but it's also salty it's salty and uh let's see if i can fix the gain here yeah it's salty and it has a slight subtle sweetness to it uh, I do like I do like cherry blossom um, desserts mostly in the spring it just seems wrong to eat that out of season I don't know and here's some cherry blossom pudding that's that's kind of neat they put a blossom in there I wonder whose job that is to to pluck cherry blossoms off of the tree for for desserts do they do that here in Japan? They have like a cherry blossom plucking farm. Interesting. What I did order, what I did order, um, was uh, some survival food. Survival food. <laughs> Japanese survival food. A lot of it is uh, microwavable rice. So you need a microwave, but if you don't have electricity, how is the microwavable rice going to going to help? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, this is the survival defend future. They've put together um, food for a week, oh, five days. This is five days worth of food in case you are in an emergency. Two bottles of water, two canned bread bread in a can and then food that you can just boil so you're gonna need a gas stove um you can also get a three-day por portion for a hundred dollars there's no way there's no way the, i don't know how they value these things i don't know how they value it but the the bread in a can is very interesting stuff and i was thinking that i might get uh some of this this is the oh, original danish Bread in a can. They do have some some Japanese makers. Let's see here. Um, it's 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 expensive. It's about five dollars per can. I don't know. And the reviews are pretty good. People seem to like their bread in a can. This is a variety pack. Um, is this normal in your country? Do you have bread in a can? Ah, oh, wow. This is also rice. Rice in a can. Do you see this? This is interesting. This, they they have rice mixed in with different seafood. Uh, gyu meishi, which is um, like fried rice with uh, beef. 
and Todimeshi chicken. And they put that in cans. That looks like survival food. Open up the can. Boom. You have rice for your bowl and you can survive. That's actually a pretty good idea. How many? How much are these cans? It's... Um, oh, they even have fruit rice. What? Really? This is... One box has 10. So that's about $5 a can. Mm, that's kind of pricey. If you're going to survive, money is no longer an, uh, an issue. But it is right now. <laughs> it's not like we're, we're busted down. We're not busted down right now. Um, so let's take a look at a couple other items here before we end the live stream. We're letting, we're now looking. We've turned from clothing um, to survival food. Eh, survival food. So this is the box that gives you three days worth of survival. It costs. It costs a lot. It's got three cans of bread three soups in a bag and then three rice bags that that's ridiculous this one comes with a backpack we you actually need this kind of protection um if we do have an earthquake you need something that is just take it and go this one has a radio this one has a, a light um some gloves some mask protection and a survival book on where to go and what to do first aid kit some lights we have a mini one in in our um, by the door that we can just pick up and go. So we have long shelf life water, etc., just in case we need them. The reviews are mixed. There's some good reviews, which is interesting. Everything's interesting to me. Yeah. What I did think was um, what I did find were uh, how do I say this? Um, the word for emergency uh, is bosai, like a uh, disaster. So I'm just going to write in bosai, and then you're going to get all the goods that are related to disaster situation, flashlights with radios in them and things like this. But Japan has a lot of emergencies. So going online and, and um, buying stuff like this, a stretcher, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I why you would need that. I guess in an emergency. Um, and you also have portable toilets, sleeping bags that turn into tents. What is this? What? This is a tent sleeping bag. All in the, that fits into your hand. This is a pretty good idea. Emergency tent. That can turn into a poncho. Look at that. That is that. That is really a good idea. It's thirty dollars, and no reviews. No one has bought one. Maybe I'll be the first. Maybe I will. Maybe I will. This is also necessary for survival. Good sheets. How, what are they doing that in there? The Japanese sheets are pretty funny. If you're an anime or, or manga fan, you're going to find some interesting stuff for bed sheets. <laughs> Seriously. It's very interesting. Chicago Africans in the house. The U.S. there is Thanksgiving food flavored Cokes. What? <laughs> That's pretty uh times are weird times are very weird yeah mr japan it's almost snack time we had a late breakfast we woke up a little late uh this live stream started late the back feature is not working very well the back feature is not working um this is stuff that i searched for bosai bosai meaning uh disaster in japanese um helmets and things like this if you click on that you can f you can follow the trail You'll follow the trail and it'll suggest you all sorts of helmets, including this one. Whoa. Whoa. Is this a helmet for, for, okay, this guards you from Cuckoo Guard C009 is the model number 
Oh, I love it. I love it. The portable toilets are pretty interesting to me as somebody who um, studies Japanese toilets. You can make your own, so you're never without them. And it comes with like lime that you can throw in there to so reduce the smell. It's interesting. It's very interesting. It's my favorite word today. But if you're going to do it in the house, you're going to want to get a tent. So this allows you this allows you to do do it without anyone watching. Toyede man. That's what it's called. It's called Toyede man. Toilet man. I like that. It's good marketing. Makes me want a toilet man in my house. Talk to the neighbors. Do you have a toilet man? I just got mine. Do you have a 2.0? No, mine's a 3.0. Or you could just take the trash can and turn it into it. I think that's what most people would do. Yeah. I, I do think I'm going to get something um, for Kanai to surprise her. Probably sweets and things like that. But on Amazon, you can buy um, just about anything, as we all know. Let me get back into the Safari. You could also buy Wagyu. Wagyu. Oh, my. They'll send that to you in a cool bag. Oh, wow. You can have this um, sent to your house. It's a little pricey. Let's go for... Let's see what this is all about. This is Kudoge Wagyu. Black. Black-haired Wagyu. Um, 7,600 yen for this. It doesn't say... This is sliced Wagyu. So you can have this all sent to you, including steaks. Oh, wow. I'm getting hungry. Kobe beef as well. Get a Benjo. <laughs> benjo means benjo means toilet in Japanese. I know. I, I definitely need a Benjo. Um, one last thing here. I want to go into, um, the drugstore and I wanted to show you masks and things that are popular. Now in Japan, people really like to shop for eye drops and cosmetics, things to take back home. You can get that on Amazon and have that sent to your hotel if you can't find it. Masks. Wow. What is this? You always find some very interesting, um, soft and skin friendly. What does that mean? Exactly. It looks like, okay, these are just paper masks. So you get 10 for 8.50 or about a 85 cents a mask. I thought they put, she put tape on her face. No. Let's see how much these masks are. The prices are coming down because you can't pr price gouge. This is a box of masks for 3,680 3, yen. So it's down 50 masks. So the prices are starting to come down because everybody is making their own. Nobody actually needs the masks that uh, are sold at the stores anymore. Just make your own. And that's that's been a good thing. We I use the masks that, that I buy um, sorry, I, I, I might use the mask that, that I made myself or that friends have made for me. So new, as a result, I'm starting to see masks more at um, the stores again. They do still sell out. That is maybe interesting and necessary. Do you see these um, guards for your ear? That makes it more comfortable. So Japan gone, has gone to the next level with masks and goggles. Wow, that's the whole set. It's the whole set for staying in. Do, do note that you can get it through your eyes, the coronavirus. So 
It is good to wear goggles or some sort of eyewear when you go to the store. If someone coughs, it's in the air, and if you walk through that, you can get it, which is why the infection rates are, are pretty high when um, uh, in spreading because it stays in the air a lot longer. Yeah. So that's at the drugstore. Um, that stuff is being sold. Yeah, masks, monster, alcohol is hard to find. We're not finding any alcohol. So um, if you do find them, what is this? All right, this is not actually not alcohol. Gianniesta. But it looks like it could be, but it's not. I ordered Listerine, but it's only 30% alcohol, so it doesn't do a lot of good. You know what's been, you know what people have been buying? Is this what I think it is? Hold on. All right, this is multi multivitamins, but people have been buying zinc because one of the, um, how do I say, one of the symptoms is the loss of smell and taste, and that is a zinc deficiency, people have been saying. So people started going out and buying zinc supplements. So I've seen that on, on, uh, on the uh, drugstore sales list. <laughs> Toilet paper, by the way, is not a problem. We've got loads and loads of toilet paper on Amazon. Um, what What is a problem is it's hard to find double ply. I prefer double ply. But we did buy toilet paper, and um, uh, when it first started coming back, and the quality was really bad. It's the kind that just breaks apart with any water. So it's like, it, it was worthless. But... We still were happy to have it. Now it's everywhere. Toilet paper is not an issue anymore. All right, I'll take your questions um, for the next couple of minutes until I got to go and eat. I probably put this as unlisted after. I'm going to be doing in a few hours as, um, a Twitch live stream to test it out to see how things go there just to give it a test and then I'll be working in tomorrow. I'm going to have Greg Lane. Hold on a second. Let me get John tomorrow. I'm going to have Greg Lane on the show and I'm going to make sure that this live, this camera works better. I don't know why it keeps disconnecting. It's uh, very worrying to me. I've been using this as the camera, so it's got to connect via via the USB and it's not been doing that and I don't know what I can do to fix it except kept keep restarting it but it never does get back in it just does that the wheel of death you see that it's not good it's not good so I'll, I'll have the cameras working this is the best that you can do with the on the iMac Greg Lane is the founder of tokyocheapo.com it's an amazing website that i use as a resource and i've also uh, written for and gotten a lot of information um, and also uh, shared information so we're going to ask him about what are some of the the things people are searching for on his website now that tourists aren't actually coming to japan what's trending on tokyocheapo.com what are on people's minds um, I, I know that travelers are not coming, but maybe the expats living here have become more of the viewers. So I'm really curious. Uh, I've known Greg for about 15 years now. We started off in completely different areas. I was teaching English. I had a show teaching English on iTunes, and he had a company that was making things on the Internet. And um, I think it was right after the Great Tohoku Earthquake that we both just changed our focus and turned into trying to get people to come back into Japan. I did bring a dirty clothes rack in. This is usually outside to dry the laundry because I thought that might go with the shopping episode, but it was a bad idea. Looks awful in the background. <laughs> it really does. Uh, yeah. So let's take a look and see what some of the questions that you have here. I'm here for you. Try restarting the iPhone. I've done that, and it came back on, and then I lost it again. In fact, the audio kind of um, got weird. Hold on.
as uh, the audio got weird because it peaked um, from some of the Amazon videos that were in there. When is the emergency toilet review? <laughs> yeah. I tried to do some, some creepy stuff off of the internet. It did not go well. I bought that hug doll, the one where um, that's therapeutic for people that are lonely. You can put it around here. And then the doll where it makes you feel like you're sleeping on a, a lady's lap. And that did not go over well. The internet was not happy with me. Um, and I gave those away. I think I sent it. I sent one to Nosh, maybe. I don't remember. I, I gave it to you, gave it to somebody, and I sent another one to a super chat supporter who gave me a ridiculous amount of money, and then I gave it to them. <laughs> I sold them. I saw. I um, uh, put it in the mail. It's pretty creepy. There's a lot of creepy stuff, by the way, on Amazon.co.jp. Things that. Um, will not be on the American variety. It's really creepy. Don't search it. Don't th don't go in there and look for it now. I, I didn't give you these ideas. Very weird. Hug dolls and that beyond that. Beyond that. What are you laughing, Jonathan? It's laughing. It's not funny. It's it's actually kind of funny. It's slightly funny. Um, Irvon writes in here, Tokyo Cheapo is great for exact dates on various activities and festivals in the Tokyo area. Absolutely. Tokyo Cheapo has been um, really good at updating. Um, they'll write an article a year before, and then when it comes up uh, to a couple months out, they'll update that information, and that's really good. So even their archives are, are good year-round. Um, I, I know that they started off with a skeleton staff because I was writing for them to try to help them out and um, back in like 2013, 14, 15. And now that they have uh, a pretty good stable of writers and they get information out, it, they, they've, they have um, guides, uh, Hong Kong Cheapo. They have a Japan Cheapo, which, in, uh, which is the entire country. They have uh, London Cheapo. They're going Cheapo all over the place. And I, I love that because when people search... It's you're always trying to cater to the luxury market or trying to get people to spend more. And they did took the opposite. They're trying to get people to spend less because Greg and me to a lesser extent are pretty frugal sometimes when we need to be because we just didn't have money. Uh, when I backpacked, I tried to live off of five, ten dollars a day. And there's people who come to Japan and ask me all the time, uh, where should I stay? I, I tell them, go check out Tokyo Cheapo because they probably have all of the top ch cheapest places in the entire country on that website all reviewed. So Irvine, they're they're pretty good. They're better than the other sites like Japan Travel. And so I, I like Tokyo Cheapo because I know the uh, the founder and uh, I've they're good people. Um, they really want to they want to add value. Did they, we see eye to eye. When you go and you watch one of our shows, we want to add value to what you're watching. I'm talking about my edited content, which is coming, by the way. Uh, new channel is just waiting on the animated opening, which I can't show you yet. Which I can't show you. Will you ever buy a dog for Kanai? Travis. Um, Kanai is allergic to animal hair. Um, there are non-allergical dogs where the hair is not a problem and cats, but we think that that's also so strange to breed the dogs that way. And I, I like the dogs with the hair that are not thing. And we, if we're going to take a pet, we might just take one from a shelter too, uh, an abandoned one. And, and um, we're not sure. Too many people in Japan will buy puppies and they are like, an accessory and not a member of the family. So they end up getting abandoned, especially cats get thrown out. And then the parks are loaded with cats. Just sad. Um, Xena warrior. Thanks for the live stream today. I wasn't going to do one, but I just decided I've, I've been taking a few days off to fix up the only in Japan TV website, which uh, I'm kind of adding in some more stuff. Uh, I've changed the logo, uh, which will be coming. And, uh, I've started Twitch and uh, we've, I've been doing some changes behind the scene to get ready for May, to get up ready for the launch of the new channel. And I had to delay it because the animators are still working on the animation. 
but um, uh, that's where all the content is going to be going uh, onto this new channel. I'm pretty excited about it. Pretty excited. Yeah. So thanks so much for watching. A hamster would be good to attack her, actually. Um, I used to own a hamster. They got little hair. They don't shed and put their hair all over the place. And if it's just, it's just a little bit of hair. And I'm a very good at training them and making sure that they don't eat cables and stuff. And, um, and they become a part of the family. Um, my last uh, hamster called Kiki it actually thought that I was a, either Kiki thought that I was a hamster like her or that she was a human like me. All I know is that Kiki did not think like she's a pet and I'm a pet owner. We saw each other eye to eye. So either she was a hamster or I, and I was a hamster or she was a human and I was a human and I think she saw us like this. And when she saw herself and me in the mirror, might have freaked her out. Or like, why don't I have hands? What are these little things? She must have it too. I just think Kiki didn't, couldn't put it together. But it was funny because Kiki thought she was also a human or whatnot. And we had that kind of a relationship. I thought I was a hamster. I would, I would eat my food in very small bites and store it in pouches in my cheeks. It's disturbing story why did you release that into the internet now you can't delete it they can hear me because the mic is so close to your mouth um yeah it's a bad it's a freaky story i did how long how how long have you been able to put food into the pouch of your cheek has anyone ever tried that try to do it for like four hours it's impossible it starts to break down and ferment and stuff it's not good the, the fact that that hamsters can do it is because they have a special pouch. We humans don't ha do it, have it, so don't try it. Don't try to be a hamster. It doesn't work. Different body. But we did not think like that. We thought we were the same species. Me thinking I was human and then thinking that Kiki was human, but not. I did not feed Kiki like beef. She got tofu. I'm a human. I'm smarter than the hamster, but I never let Kiki know that. You know, maybe that's respect. So Kiki can cannot have didn't go to school. I'm getting deeper by talking into this. So Kiki didn't go to school. So the result was that she was not. You know, she didn't know the same things I knew, like American history. She didn't know that George Washington. She didn't care. She just wanted the sunflower seeds and the tofu and companionship. So there's things I could teach her. Yeah. So we saw eye to eye on those three things and the other thing and summer homes. She had a summer home and a winter home. She had various homes under rocks and washing machines and things. All right. I'm just going to stop talking now about that. A llama would be hard for Tokyo. I'm just, <laughs> although that'd be fun. That'd be a lot of fun. It's a little bit hard to have a llama in your apartment. Yeah. No backyard. All right, guys, have a good day. Uh, sorry about that. This didn't go the way I wanted to. I'm not going to delete it. It'll just go unlisted um, for the playback. Uh, tomorrow, interview with um, Greg. Next week, I'm going to have my friend um, Dean on the show as well as maybe some other creators where we can do some back and forth because we, we there, there's some interesting stuff that's been happening. I love this word interesting today. If you keep saying it, it really does become interesting. There's a lot of um, stuff going on, uh, like because tomorrow we expect Tokyo to be shut down until May 31st. We're kind of expecting Abisan to give a speech very soon that shuts down the country until the end of May, which means that um, basically we're in the same situation as like Canada and the United States and everywhere else. Um, stores and social distancing will continue, but unlike the other countries, there's no bite to the bark so people are just going out anyways and doing essential stuff like i have to get on my bicycle every now and then to go out and get stuff that we need uh, i try very i that maybe two or three times i had to go out to the to the post office once and i had to go out to get medicine to the pharmacy and it requires me getting on a on a bicycle and going a little ways but the roads are pretty safe um there's not a lot of people out so if you do need to go out it is safer 
but still there's too many people that are going out um even in japan the social distancing thing is still a problem it's getting better um anyways we'll talk about that with greg tomorrow thanks guys thanks for spending a couple of hours with me or an hour um through the difficulties of this live stream and shopping i don't know uh i'll try to find some different ideas oh wait i gotta show you something I totally should not have put those dirty the dirty rack there. All right. I'm also going to be doing this probably on Thursday. All right. Do you see this? This is Wagyu in a can. All right. This one, I, I think I might have cheesed this one. This one is, is um, like a $5 can of beef. I don't know if it's Wagyu or not. I believe it is. And then this one is Matsuzaka beef. This is um, cost me $50 for this can of beef. And we're going to unbox this on, like, Thursday, I think, of this week. Maybe Wednesday. There's no label on it. It's Matsuzaka A5 Wagyu in a can. Doesn't have a smell. So this is going to be fun. Emergency luxury food. <laughs> uh, I don't know why I bought this. I, it's like one of those internet shopping things. There's a picture of it in this really bad. Matsuzaka Gyu in a can $50 only an idiot would buy it keep staring all right everybody see ya in the next live stream